and welcome to the Oatana Today Show. I'm Shelley Whitehead. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're so excited that you can be with us. We want to let make sure you stick with us this morning because we have a great show. We're going to be speaking with Matt Kettleson on the KOWZ Home Show, as well as Beth Svenby and uh, talking about the, the Heart Half Marathon. It's a great time. We love that you join us every time you can right here on Charter Channel 8. If for some reason you cannot join us, you can always find us on YouTube, Blip TV, as well as Facebook. The nice thing is, is when you do like us on Facebook, Leanne will upload that right to your page every day. So make sure you like us on Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, we could always love to hear from you because what we're going to do is we're allowing you an opportunity to tell us what's going on in your life and some events that you'd like to see uh, covered right here on the Oatana Today Show. So you can send us an email at oatanatoday at charter.net. You can always give Leanne Alt a call as well as 390-507-390-5751. I remembered it. I get it. Go me. <laughs> it's a great opportunity for you to share with us what you've got going on in your life. We'd love for that to happen. So stick with us as we're going to be again talking to Matt in just one moment right after this. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Juvenile fire setters is a big problem in the city of Oatana. Um, if you have any problems with juveniles or young adults setting fires within your homes or your community, please get in contact with the Oatana Fire Department and we can help assist you with uh, rectifying the problems with the juvenile fire setter. This is a public service information from the Oatana Fire Department. Hi, we're Mark and Becky Stevens of the Oatana Pizza Ranch. And we support the Oatana Today Show. This March, as part of Minnesota Food Share, we hope to raise $100,000 and or pounds of food. Minnesota Food Share contributes additional money based on our local donations. In 2012, 3,671 individuals living in Steele County registered at the food shelf. By the end of 2012, the food shelf gave out 600,000 pounds of food. Thank you for your generosity. With your support, we are able to provide a resource in Steele County for our neighbors in need. No one in Steele County should go to bed hungry. And we're back with the Owatonna Today Show. I almost said the KOWZ Show. Because it kind of is that right now. <laughs> I have with me Matt Kettleson. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Why don't you introduce yourself real quick and uh, tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, my name is Matt Kettleson. I'm the manager of Cows and Corn Country Radio here in Owatonna. And also uh, oversee the Owatonna or Cows and Crew Home and Recreation Show, which is going on uh, this weekend at the Four Seasons Center. Let's talk about this because this is something you do. How many years have you been doing 13th year. 13 years. Amazing. So it started much smaller. How, how many vendors do you have now? Uh, this year we'll have over 220 booths. Um, we fill both sides of the Four Seasons Center to the brim. Mm -hmm. uh, it, when we first started, it was a, a show in one side of the Four Seasons Center, and, and slowly but surely, we, uh, we grew it. Uh, for a while there, it was uh, pretty, pretty uh, sparse on the west side, mm -hmm. but now it's uh, full to the brim. We've got Cabela's over there. We've got over 100 booths over there. Uh, we've got jacuzzis over there, so it's, uh, I mean, it is a full show on both sides. So, um, it's so cold out. Can people try out the jacuzzis if they come prepared? <laughs> I, you know, I think they probably can. I know that uh, <laughs> we've got uh, Lando Dreams out of Rochester and Twin City Jacuzzi out of the Twin Cities that both will have hot tubs there full of water well, that people can get in. I know last year people did get in the hot tubs at Twin City Jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, so, the, so just come prepared for come it. Come prepared, though, yeah, yes. Because there are laws. Yes, there are laws, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this. First of all, what is the purpose of this home show? Why does cows see this as something that the community needed? Well, the, lots of areas have shows, and it, it's kind of a celebration of spring, so to speak. Uh, you know, I sit around with my wife, and we talk about, well, what do we want to do at our house this year? Do we want a patio? We need to do some landscaping. You know, our uh, cupboards are looking kind of haggard. Maybe we need to upgrade those. You know, so there's so many things in a house that, you need to, to do or look at doing or people are interested in doing, we thought what better way to showcase some of the uh, businesses in Owatonna than to have a home and rec show. And we have the rec show as well because we do have, we have boats and, um, you know, there's power sports, there's resorts. We have uh, quite a few resorts that come. So there's a, a, something for everybody at the Cows and Corn Home and Recreation Show. Leanne tells me spring is on Wednesday. I don't know if I believe this or not. Oh my <laughs> After gosh. the snow we're having today. But so it, that's um, one of the things is that you're encouraging people to do is think about what things they can do once this stuff goes away. 
So talk to me about some of the specific vendors that you have for the home side of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's uh, our show this year is presented by Lucina Siding and Window. Uh, they're out of Mankato, but uh, do a lot of work in this market. Um, but we also have uh, Lando Dreams and 3-Day Mattress. And something unique this year is we will be giving away a hot tub courtesy of Lando Dreams 3-Day Mattress, valued at over $6,500. So come to the show and register for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have oh, a ton of grounds masters. We have people that do anything and everything from lands landscaping and lawn care, window siding, doors, gutters, roofing, decks, remodeling, uh, cabinets. I mean, literally the show includes the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, is there are there personal things too to get ready for you for spring personally, or more home based? Well, well, uh, it, it's really both. Okay. Um, but one of the unique things that we do at our show now, our show is free to attend, mm -hmm. which is a lot different than other shows. So one of the things you will see at our show is home based businesses. In fact, we have an entire row dedicated to home based businesses, and it's your Mary Kay, your Tastefully Simple, your Pampered Chef. We have Taffy Town. We have a De Marie who has a really neat, unique product. We've got Tastefully Simple, Pampered Chef. I could go on and on and on and on. <laughs> um, and we have an entire row with these types of products. And there's cleaning products. Everybody needs to clean their house. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning, I know. <laughs> but we've been doing it at my house. Have you? Yep. It's not Wednesday yet. I, that's Matt, right. we got to wait till Wednesday. Well, yeah. the nice thing about that, though, is it's also um, you're looking at Spring, springifying, I made up a word, yourself. So the nice thing about these home businesses is you can then invite people over. It also opens those opportunities for uh, getting together with those friends and families you might not have seen all winter. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and another thing it does for our show, because it's a free show, you don't get just the people that walk through that are looking for landscaping or gutters or windows mm -hmm. or siding. You know, the typical home show, if you have to pay to get in, you come in looking for a specific product. But at our show, we want to invite the entire community to come. It's free admission, free parking, so anybody can come, walk through the show, and you know, try out some of the taffy from Taffy Town. Mm -hmm. Or if you need a Mary Kay product or Norwex environmental products, you can you can get that there too. So it's not specifically a home sh home and rec show. We do have a very wide variety of things. What is your favorite vendor? Can you say that? Cows and corn. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I, do not have a, I do not have a favorite vendor. I, uh, uh, we really appreciate uh, everybody who, who uh, you know, decides to make the investment and uh, get a booth in our home show. Without them, we wouldn't have a great show that has grown every year. I bet there are some people that are going to walk through the show this year and say we've been coming through for every year for 13 years, and it's amazing how the show has grown. We have a great team at mm -hmm. Cows, and I, because uh, I can't take any of the credit. We sit and have meetings, and we throw ideas at the wall, and if we have ideas that sound good and are, are going to work, then we, we do them. And, you know, sometimes they don't work, but uh, we're willing to try things. And we, we just have a good team that they're the ones who go out and sell the booths. They put up the posters. They do the promotion. They're talking to their customers about, hey, come to our home and rec show because we, we're, we're proud of it. Mm. It's something we work so hard at. As soon as uh, Sunday or Monday is here, mm. We'll be sitting down in our meeting <laughs> and we'll be talking about, and I hate to say it, the 2014 <laughs> Home and Recreation Show. I get a little showed out by the uh, end of the day on Sunday. What's interesting is that um, if you do need a new roof, and you're going to think about doing that in spring, you could always just call someone in the phone book. But the nice thing about the home show is you get to see a variety of different vendors, but also at times you can get discounts. Absolutely. That is one of the best parts about going to a Home and Rec show. You can get great deals. I mean, a lot of our vendors will be, you can hear the ads on our radio station right now, they are advertising show discounts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can look and shop multiple different roofers. Mm -hmm. You can go talk to our home remodeling, people roofing, Lucina siding and window, among many, many, mm -hmm. many, many others. Uh, or if you need windows, you can do the same thing. And so you really can get a, a great deal and a great product uh, right there. And our vendors like talking to people as well. They understand too that uh, they don't expect to get all the business, they just want to crack at it. And that's what uh, we're hoping to give them at the well, Home and Rec Show. And that's great because it's not just the big companies too. You also have, like you said, little mom and pop kind of companies as well. Yep, absolutely. There. And there, a lot of these people are the people that have been doing our Home and Rec Show for 13 years. <laughs> it's amazing. We look at the list and we don't have a lot of turnover from year to year. It's uh, people... Uh, I like to think that they appreciate the work and the value that we provide and um, you know we appreciate them being in with us because ultimately you know starting on Friday at three o'clock that's the face of cows and corn radio even though it's all these other businesses that is us displaying ourselves and our product to the public mm. uh, as they walk through the show we uh, every year the booths get 
better and better. Mm -hmm. They're grander, better decorated, better specials. You know, it is becoming a, a competitive business climate, more and more and more competitive. It's always been competitive, but more and more competitive. So everybody's looking for a little edge in it. Like at the Lucina Siding and Window Booth, they're going to have mini golf to play. They're going to have a slot machine. You know, you don't have to pay for the slot machine, but they'll have that. You can get candy and, you know, they're, they're always the people that walk through and, and grab all the free stuff. And, you know, I've been guilty of that myself. At, it's one of my favorite things to, to do at the Steel County Free Fair. Absolutely. And so this is, this, would you say this rivals the Steel County Free Fair? I would not say it rivals in terms of size. Okay. I would say in in terms of if you are looking for a product mm -hmm. for your house or a service for your house, you will be able to find it at the Home and Rec Show. Yeah. I mean, it, window cleaning is there. I mean, there's oh, we, cell I, phones, I don't do windows, so internet. <laughs> it, it, there's literally every. You can actually go to our website. I mm -hmm. think uh, it was put up earlier. It's cowsfm.com, and we have an entire listing of our uh, vendors. Okay. And with over 220 booths, you are going to see just about everything yeah. on that list. Probably find something you need. Yes. So when again is the event? It is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Friday's hours are 3 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Saturday's 9 to 5, and Sunday is 11 to 4. So okay. folks can go to church or spend some time with their family mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And we try and end early enough on, on Saturday so that our vendors can go home and, and spend some time with their families as well, because it can be a grueling three days, you know, especially yeah. for our staff because we're there from, you know, six in the morning until well after it closes. Um, what is, you've been, you, you've been working on this for several years yourself. What is one of the best things you've seen come from this event? Just the, uh, the growth in the show. It's, it's really is, means a lot to me to see our staff and our team work so hard at it, at it. And then just walking through the show on Friday as all the booths are set up, it's really a sense of pride that, uh, we do put on a, a great show that we're really proud of that rivals any show uh, in Minnesota. Well, you were saying that it's the largest in southern Minnesota, yep. including Mankato and Rochester. Yep. And so how many people do you think might come through the doors? You know, I don't know. We, uh, we clicked last year, and it was... Uh, you know, about 8,000 people. Okay. And if you remember last year, it was about 75 degrees <laughs> outside. So I hate to say this, everybody. I, I don't mind a little bit of bad weather. I don't want to have that on class today, but I don't mind a little bit of bad weather. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank you for your time thank today you. and good luck this weekend. We'll be right back with the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, this is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance, and we are proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now, I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. When you or a loved one needs specialized care, where can you go for help? Park Place Senior Living and Coda Living Community provide a home with personalized services. Park Place Senior Living offers apartment homes with housekeeping or nursing services that meet your unique needs, including extended assisted living in the former Cedarview Care Center. Coda Living Community provides rehabilitation and short-term or long-term care in Owatonna's newest health care facility. A hallmark of the Benedictine Health System, both locations are committed to providing quality care where health, independence, and choice come to life. For more information, please contact me at 507-446-4946. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson with the Otana Business Incubator. We're here to help small businesses start and to grow. We're a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. And we're back with the Owatonna Today Show. I am Shelly Whitehead. I have with me Beth Svenby. Hello, Beth. Hello. How are you? I am great. How are you? I am really great. I'm excited Good. to have you here. First Good. of all, I want you to talk a little bit about yourself, and then we'll talk about the heart. Sure. Uh, my name is Beth Svenby, and um, I grew up in Owatonna and moved away for a little bit and ended up coming back and raise a family here. I currently am the principal at Washington Elementary School. 
and one of the organizers of the From the Heart Half Marathon 5K that we host each May here in Oatana. Let's talk about the the origins of From sure. the Heart. This is something you organized? It is. Five years um, ago? It is. In 2009, I was in church um, one Sunday morning, and I heard about uh, a mother of three children who had breast cancer. and. And it sounded like she needed some financial support. And so I lost a couple nights sleep on it and <laughs> told my husband we needed to do something. And he said, we don't even know her, so go back to bed. <laughs> and, um, and I just really kind of stuck with it. And actually, it seems really weird, but I had a dream. And mm. I woke up with the entire um, From the Heart process um, in my mind. And so I called some of my girlfriends and asked if they would be willing to help me out. And... Uh, there are six of us. We've been together ever since, mm -hmm. and um, and we're in our fifth year this year. So we're really excited. It's our fifth anniversary, and um, there's going to be some new things with the race this year um, in honor of that. Now, are you a runner yourself? I do do quite a bit of running, So, yes. So that's kind of where the impetus is. I think so, from. yeah. Um, I've run some half marathons each summer, and, um, and so you kind of get to know runners, oh. and uh, people like to run a local race. Mm -hmm. We drive to many races, and it's really nice to be able to wake up a little bit later some morning, and mm -hmm is run right in town. So <laughs> it's been, a, it's been a, um, a whirlwind of an event. In our first year, we had over 700 runners, which we really hoped just to have about 150, 200. We <laughs> thought, oh, that would be great. And then 700 showed up, and um, we couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Well, and this is a unique run. There are all sorts of walks and runs around the area, but this one is unique because it's very locally focused. It is. It's all, um, it's locally focused. Um, it is a run that gives to families that are enduring um, a journey with cancer. And all the proceeds, every dollar that anybody puts into this race goes directly to the family. So today we've given away $120,000. And uh, and how to, many families have you helped over that we time? We have helped, oh, I'd have to go back and count them up. I bet we've helped eight, nine, ten families up to this point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just people who've gone through cancer. Some of them have maybe lost family to cancer. But yes. It, it, so it's different varieties of that, too. It's not just one who are going through it, but maybe right. somebody on the other side as well. Right. And it's, um, I guess that's one of the things that we as committee members get out of the race is we've met some incredible people and built some lasting relationships. In fact, many of the families that we've supported come back year after year and volunteer at our race. And um, Susan Harlicker, who is the mother of Tyler Harlicker, who we supported for two years in a row, um, she actually is now on our committee and <laughs> does wonderful things for us. And we did start a scholarship. In addition to the race, we have a scholarship. We give away three $1,000 scholarships to high school students each year in honor of Tyler. So we do like to keep some of those legacies with our families going. And, and like I said, have just built really special connections with them. Did you expect this to happen when you started this five years ago? No, we, I guess, you know, I don't know. We, uh, I don't know if we had any expectation. We certainly didn't expect this. Um, we just wanted to help somebody out in need. You know, mm -hmm. we were all moms. Mm -hmm. We all have children of our own and understood the complexity of the emotional side um, and the financial burden. I had lost my mother uh, a couple years prior to that um, to colon cancer mm -hmm. and so understood a little bit more of the personal nature of the journey with cancer. It's very difficult mm -hmm. um, for not only the person, you know, with the disease, but for all those that surround them. So anything we can do to help those families is important. This year you have five families that you're working with? We do. We, um, this is a unique year for us, um, and it's been a large undertaking, <laughs> um, but it's so worth it. Um, we had families um, throughout the year. Uh, we take emails and phone calls of uh, people that are like, hey, do you know of these people? They could really use your help. And for whatever reason this year, we ended up with five families. And so we wondered for a while if we'd be able to to carry that many families financially in the end. Um, but we thought, you know, it's our fifth anniversary. Let's oh, let's do it go. with a bang. There you go. So we're doing five families in year five. And, and we really hope to, last year we were able to give away $40,000. We're shooting for $50,000 this year so we can provide at least $10,000 mm -hmm. to each family. Do you want to talk a little bit about the families? Sure, I would love to. Um, uh, we have a smorgasbord of families this year. Um, Bill Reuter uh, is our first gentleman that we are supporting, and he is a non-smoker and has never smoked in his life, but yet he has um, a significant case of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And Bill's story is unique because there's one final genetic testing that he can have um, in order to find his next treatment plan, and insurance does not cover that genetic testing, so we want to help there. Um, Candy Anderson is a mom of three um, with breast cancer. And um, Sue Hardy, who is um, a junior high teacher here in Owatonna, um, was recently diagnosed with ovarian cancer. 
Um, Christine Deming Davis uh, has an unusual, um, you know, something that we don't hear about very often, but appendix cancer. Wow. And she also is the co-sponsor of Relay for Life here in Oatana every July. Mm. So we're really glad to be able to support her and her family. And um, she has a daughter as well. And Juan Villarreal um, was recently diagnosed with inoperable um, pancreatic mm. cancer. And he has two children of his own. So we have families that really need all of us as a community to come out and support them. And it is a half marathon, um, but it's also a 5K. So you don't have to run 13 miles. You can just walk your three. And so mm. we get over 700, 800 runners in the 5K each year. Mm. And um, we also have a kids' fun run, a half-mile kids' fun run, all held on Saturday, May 4th. So there is really something for everybody down there. Um, register, get out to the race, because with five families, it's really important this year that we can help them all to the best of our ability. Well, and you also, um, again, it, this is a fundraiser. So when yes. you, you, you register, you do bring, you pay a fee, and that fee will all go to help pay for the, yes. give money to these donors. But you also have a spaghetti dinner? Right? We do, yep. And even with the registration, everybody does receive a race day t-shirt. Mm -hmm. So you do have that, and half marathon runners receive a medal. But prior to that, on Friday night, we host a spaghetti supper. Last year, we served about 800, mm -hmm. um, which was fantastic, at the junior high. Um, it's from 4.30 to 8 o'clock on Friday, May 3rd, and tickets are available at Washington Elementary and at Kotke's and also at the door that night. Mm -hmm. And all of our runners pick up um, their packets that night, too. We should also note that we have um, uh, usually over 50 silent auction baskets that people have donated available that night at the Spaghetti Supper, too. So it's pretty crazy at the junior high, <laughs> lots and lots of people, but a lot of fun things going on. The same night Trinity Nursery School hosts a uh, um, and you're never too young to make a difference uh, for kids night. It'll be held in the junior high gym this year. We had some rain last year, so we moved it inside to the gym. So kids can go down there, run, jump, skip, play for turning in some, you know, quarters and dimes and nickels to help with the cause and then mm -hmm. head on down to the spaghetti supper. Okay. Good. So we've tried to really make the entire weekend a family focused weekend uh, because, you know, you'll see on race day, one of my favorite things to see is you'll see grandparents with their grandkids mm -hmm. or entire families walking the 5K. And it, it's pretty, it's pretty heart wrenching, you know, and it's mm -hmm. neat because uh, you are never too young to make a difference. And the more we can teach our children that giving is what really living is all about, the better off we'll be as a community and a, and a world as a whole. So we're really excited. When you do have the race, do you take time to honor the families so that those who are racing know kind of who they're working for? We do. We have um, an awards ceremony down at the lake, and we do honor all the families. We also give survivor medals to any sur cancer survivor um, that participates in our race. And so we have 20, 30 survivors, and all of our former families are also down at the lake on that day. And so it's kind of a reunion of sorts, and people do really like to, to greet those that we're honoring and you'll see many of these people walking or running in mm -hmm. the race. And so that's pretty neat to see. Um, mm -hmm. Team t-shirts, people will make their own team t-shirts and, and really get excited about the day. Well, and this is in May and here we are in March. And so we've got some time and I think that's mm -hmm. great because then people can start preparing for this if they yes. haven't. Mm -hmm. So um, how can they get registered for this event? Um, our website is www.fromtheheartrun.com. And everything is right on there. Also, the archive stories of all of our past families are on there. If you want to click on the archives, you can see what we've done in the past. Um, and our stories of our new families um, will be added shortly. Um, one other item, we do have pre-race shirts. These are our pre-race shirts that we sell. Um, they say, we love you on the front and on the back. It says, five years from the heart. And it lists all the families that we've mm -hmm. sponsored over the course of the time. They are available at both Profinium Bank locations. And once again, once we sell these shirts, all proceeds from the shirts go directly to the families as well. So we encourage you to get out and, and get a pre-race shirt as well. Do you take direct donations if someone maybe can't be a part of this? And they, are they just, are they, you touch their hearts today. Is there a way they can directly donate to this event? We do. We take, we um, have many people that do do exactly what you talked about. And there's a sponsor, sponsorship site on our website. Um, our P.O. Box also is P.O. Box 853. So if you want to do that, but by all means, go on our website, go to the sponsorship um, listing. It'll give you the address and how to sponsor the race. And we list all of our sponsors on the back of the t-shirts on race day. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you so good much. Luck. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. I, I hope so. Question. How many ra racers do you have registered thus far? Um, I know it's early, but... Yeah, thus far, I don't know, probably a little bit over 100 at this far. Last year, we um, ended up with 1,227. Wow. And wow. so our goal is 1,500 runners this year. Yep, get so that five in So get there. out there and help us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, Beth. thank you. We'll be right back with the Oatana Today Show. 
Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Otana Public Utilities, real people, real reliable, real progress. Making life a little easier day after day. Taking pride in our community, listening to what you say. A voice you can talk to. We're growing with you, with you in mind and everything we do. Oh, a ton of public utilities. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. And we're back with the Owatonna Today Show. What we're going to do real quick is give you some community service announcements. Make sure you know what's going on in your community. The next series in uh, the Health Info at Your Library programs is this Monday. It's today at 7 p.m. in the Ganey Room on the third floor of the Owatonna Public Library. The program is free to all. And there's no registration required. Now, Dave Wright from South Central Human Relations will speak on smoking. He's going to offer tips to help you stop and where to go in the community for help. The project is fund funded by Blue Cross Shield of Minnesota Foundation. Again, that's at the Otana Public Library today. And why not Springs Wednesday? Why not uh, start a, a spring with a healthy you? And you can do that by going to this event. The public invited is invited to Books Are Fun fundraiser at the Owatonna Auxiliary. The Owatonna Hospital Auxiliary is hosting a new book and gift sale at the Owatonna Hospital. It is on Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the Vision Conference Room. That's room 1489. Books and gifts for all ages will be available for purchase, and a portion of the sales from the fundraiser helps support the Owatonna Hospital unbudgeted items and scholarships. These are scholarships are for students in nursing and health-related fields. For more information, you can contact the hospital auxiliary at 507-977-2778, or you can check out more information at owatonnahospital.com. Welding and safety compliance. This is the Steele County Safety Council's having an event on March 20th. At uh, It's Come and Let Cody Huber Help Put a Spark in Your Day and Learn the Latest OH, OSHA laws, safety tips, safety equipment, and how welding has changed in the last several years. If this is a part of your life or if it's something you did at one time and would just like more information on how things are changing, you can check this out on Wednesday, March 20th from uh, noon to one at the Presidential and Welding Safety Compliance Lunch. It is $7. It's at the Elks Club. You can check that out. It's uh, going to have some future topics coming up, but this Wednesday, that's what's going to be happening there. And we want to encourage you to celebrate the gift of mentoring by joining the Big Brothers and Big Sisters for their evening for kids' sake. That's coming up Saturday, March 23rd at the Steel County His Historical Center. And it's dinners at 6.30 with a live au auction at 7. If you want more information, you can contact the Big Brothers Big Sisters for more information regarding that. And if you do have some community service uh, announcements, things that you would like to see right here on the Owatonna Today Show, feel free to send us an email at owatonnatoday at charter.net or you can call us at 390-5751 and let us know. We'd always like to hear from you and what's going on in your life. Do you want to remind you of course of the uh, Autism Spectrum Disorder Parent Support Group that's March 26 from 6 to 7:30. This always happens the fourth Tuesday of every month so this is coming up next Tuesday and again child care is provided and so if you do have an autistic child it's a great opportunity. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you on Wednesday.